guys, welcome to Comfort Zone Virtual Fitness. Now, I have something we don't normally use in gym class, but you probably have around your house. It's a broom. Just a normal, everyday broomstick. Now, what we're going to do with this isn't something that you see every day. We're going to work on balancing this broom. Okay. Now, brooms are great for this because they're usually weighted heavier at the top, and that helps. Um, and they're also usually made so they're pretty well balanced. However, really any long stick-like thing will work, okay? Um, just pick something that's not super hard at the top. So don't start with a shovel, okay? Because um, if it falls, it could hit you and hurt you, and that would not be a good day, okay? So... Now you can see both the top of the broom and my hand. Now with starting with the palm of your hand, you can help yourself a little if it starts to fall. You can catch it and rebalance it. Okay, so that'll give you a little bit of a, a trick there. Now, when we are balancing, a lot of people start looking at their hand. Now if you're watching your hand, it's really hard to get the broom stable okay where you actually will want to look is right at the top of whatever object you're balancing okay that'll help you keep your hand underneath where the broom is okay you know where your hand is going you need to watch where the top of the broom is going the other key piece here is you don't want to make a lot of big movements to keep the broom balanced if I see the broom drifting and I make a big movement, that's going to fall. These are all little tiny focus movements that you're just following where that top of the broom is until you get it to a point where it is pretty much still. Now, once you get good at balancing it with your fingers and you find that you're not having to close your hand a lot, you can flip your hand over and balance on the back of your fingers, okay? It's a little bit more stable to hold your hand that way. And if you play um, volleyball at all, okay, um, part of what helps you remember to use the back of your hand so you don't get called for a carry in volleyball is things like this, where you get used to using the back of your hand to do things and keeping it flat and level. Now, once you can do that on the back of your hand, things can get a little crazier. Once you learn the techniques for balancing, you can start to balance the broom on other parts of your body. For example, this is everyone's favorite party trick. Take the broom, you're still looking up to the top of the broom. one option. You can also take the room and still look at the top of the room and balance it on your shoulder. Now that's a little bit harder because you're trying to move your entire body to keep it underneath. Okay? And my jacket's slippery too. I'm going to make all the excuses today, guys. And then, this one I think is the hardest. You actually put it on the top of the toe of your shoe. And that's hard because you have to be on one foot. So you're balancing your body and the broom. Okay? Now another trick, and I don't know if it'll work out here today with the wind, is to be able to take this broom on this hand and pass it off to the other hand. And for that, you just, you're popping it up, okay? And you're just putting the other hand under it. And it's a little bit more difficult, but it's a great way to practice your balance. And for my volleyball players, that's especially good to be able to pass it back and forth and have that control of your hands, which I do not have today. Um, but have fun, guys. Please, please, please do this outside. All right. Don't break lamps. 
things like that, parents will not be happy. Do this outside, have fun, be safe. Thank you. See you next time.